All right, so when I was at university studying computer science, I came across this book, The Secrets of the Millionaire's Mind. And on page 73, I filled in the statement where I said I'm gonna be a millionaire by the 1st of January, 2023, which is also the time when I'm gonna be 25 years old. And since writing that statement, I have generated around 800,000 pounds through all my sources of income. And I'll most likely hit that millionaire status by sometime next year. Now, if you're thinking I got here by pure luck, then you're 10% right. But the other 90 was because of this three-step system, which I follow. And so in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I will become a millionaire by 25 using the three-step system. If you're new around here, my name is Jatin and I own multiple online businesses that generate six figures in profit every single year. And on this channel, we discuss everything related to personal finance, personal growth and business. So let's begin with step one, which is setting the destination. So the first thing I did when I started my journey to become a millionaire in 2019 was I set a destination. In other words, I set a goal. Now, there's a great analogy to explain this, that if you get into a car and you start driving without having a destination in your mind, then you're technically gonna keep driving endlessly without reaching anywhere. But if you know what place you wanna go to, when you wanna reach there by, and why you wanna get there, most likely you will get there. When I filled in this statement, I basically wrote what I wanna achieve and by when. And if you see on the side, I actually wrote down my why, which was basically the fuel to the goal which I set. And setting a goal also gives you a sense of focus so you know what you are working towards. And there's a saying that what you focus on expands. So if you're focusing on nothing, then technically you're not gonna achieve anything. Goals also help us to measure our progress. For example, when I set that millionaire goal to achieve by 2025, I can measure my money and by when I'm gonna get. And as I'm progressing, I will know if I'm achieving that or not. And by seeing that progress, if I'm doing bad or good, it will also give me a sense of motivation to either work harder or just stay focused and keep me motivated to keep going. And lastly, a goal will help you stop procrastinating or at least reduce your procrastination because similar to you having homework from school, the only reason why you've done it is because you knew you had to get it done by a set amount of time. And that is what motivated you in a way to also get your work done. So it's a kind of the same analogy which you can apply when it comes to setting a goal. Step two is choosing the fast lane. Now this step has been inspired from a book called The Millionaire's Fast Lane, which is one of the top, top best-selling books in business. So I would highly recommend you read it. But it's, a, it's basically a book about getting wealthy in 10 years rather than 40 years. In this book, MJ DeMarco, who is the author of the book, explains how there's only three roads to wealth and only one of the roads lead you to becoming wealthy faster. And that is the fast lane, which is the lane I'm on or the road I'm on. In life, you can take the three financial roads. The first one is the sidewalk. This is the road I was on in the start of my journey when I was working at my IT job, living a paycheck to paycheck life and buying things just to impress others, which I couldn't even afford. And I feel like majority of the people in the world are on this road. And with this road, you, you need to simply forget about becoming a millionaire because there is no way you're becoming a millionaire unless you reach the corporate ladder really high and start getting bonuses or equity in the business and all stuff. But other than that, I don't see you becoming a millionaire with this. The second road is a slow lane. Now, while sidewalk sacrifices your tomorrow for today, with slow lane, you're sacrificing your today for tomorrow. This road does make you a millionaire, but it will probably take you 40 to 50 years, depending on when you start investing in stuff like S&P 500. Now, the problem with this road is that you're sacrificing your today just for tomorrow. In other words, you're gonna be saving each and every penny just so you can invest. So by the time you reach probably 60 or 50, depending on when you started investing again, you're gonna enjoy that money. Now, another problem with this is that, yes, you have become a millionaire by the time you're 60 or 50, but by then you will have the time, but you won't have the energy, the health, or you could even be dead by that time. So no one knows. And also the variables which this slow lane relies on is your job, so you're not getting kicked out, the stock market always going up, and the last one is you not dying, as I just mentioned. The slow lane and the sidewalk is insane because you are simply selling your soul from Monday to Friday just to get a two days off, which is Saturday, Sunday, and then repeat the cycle again. Basically, like you're giving $5 to someone and they're giving you two pounds or $2 in return. I, you would not do that with your money. So why are you doing that with your time? And time is the most valuable asset you have in your life because that's the only thing you're not getting back. Remember that, all right? 
And the third and final road is the fast lane. This is the road which can make you a millionaire the quickest and it's the road which I chose back in 2019. In the fast lane, we basically build and scale a business that will make us millions in 10 years or less. Now, by the way, I know 10 years is not quick, but to become a millionaire, I think a 10 years timeline doesn't overwhelm you because it just helps you to know that, okay, I have 10 years to achieve this milestone. I done it in five years and some people I know who have done it even less time. It's just that 10 years is a pretty decent timeline for you to say, I'm gonna become a million in 10 years and is faster than 40 years, so yeah. <laughs> the main difference between the fast lane and the other two is that in fast lane, you are not selling your time working for someone else, just like how I did when I was working for the IT job. Instead, you are your own boss. And when you're your own boss, you're able to produce wealth with your own business. And by business, we are not talking about a business that is small and enslaves you into working every single hour of your day and being stressed and tired. We're talking about a business that leverages to create massive amount of wealth. Now leverage here is super important because you don't want the business to rely on your time. Because for example, if you're an accountant, you only have a certain amount of time in a day, which is 24 hours. And if you only work for, for, you can only work for 12 hours, which means you can only serve your clients within that time, unless you then go ahead and hire more people, this and that. Whereas if you made a software which allows accountants to manage their clients, then you technically have a business which doesn't rely on you. And it's a software based platform, which means you can give it to as many accountants as you wish, and you basically don't have to worry. My YouTube is an example of a fast lane business because I create these videos one time and then they are up on the internet. And as long as they're up on the internet, I will keep making money from these. Similar to a course if I put up. A course will stay on the internet, I'll create it one time and then it will keep making me money. And with a business, you're able to impact people at a much larger scale. For example, if you're a receptionist in a company, then the only person you're impacting slash helping is the boss and he'll be the only one who'll be paying you. Whereas if you started a YouTube channel just like this one, then once the video is out, it can go to millions of people. And when they watch the video, I'm getting paid. So I've impacted them and they all are basically paying me. And I can do the same when I want to release a product. I can release a product and I will have millions of people who will buy the product. Whereas in a job, you don't really get that impact. So in the fast lane, make sure you start or choose a business which has leverage and here's a few example businesses which you can choose and start from. The third and final step of the three step system is making your money work. Now one thing you have to understand is that millionaires don't stay millionaires because they keep working forever or their business is generating them thousands and millions every single year. They stay millionaire and grow their wealth is because they make their money work. In other words, they invest that money. For example, you made a million and you invested half of that 500,000 pounds into a savings account, which gives you a 5% annual return. Then you will be basically making 25,000 pounds in just holding your money in that savings account, which equivalents to around 2,000 pounds a month, which is what most people make in the UK. Well, not most average UK person makes. So you see the power of investing, making your money work. But the biggest problem I see with people is that they start investing when they have like 1000 pounds in their bank account. The problem is that when you invest low amount, your returns are low. Investing is only worth it when you are investing a bit, I'm sorry, let me phrase it better. You can only live off your investments if you're investing a high amount. And if your investment amount is 1000 pounds, in return on 5%, you're gonna get what, 50 pounds, which is not gonna help you live your daily life or monthly expenses. So once you choose your destination and you choose the fast lane and start a business and your business starts generating money, then you can use that money to start investing into the stock market or a high interest savings account. But most importantly, before you start investing in high savings account, invest that money in your business because I feel like in the start, if you don't invest that money in your business, then your business will just stay at the same level. You won't be able to grow it. And if you wanna scale it, make it bigger, then you need to kind of use the money from the business, again, back into the business to bring out more money. And so do that once you generate enough money from your business, then you can start investing that. This is what exactly I did in the start of my journey. Every single penny I made, my first 250,000 or even 300,000 pounds, literally has gone back into running my businesses, hiring more people, getting better equipment, like all these cameras, microphones, lights. I done that and I was able to grow my personal brand overall 
and it generates me more money than I was making right in the start. I have just recently started investing my money and started building my crypto portfolio and now I'm planning to get my first real estate property at just the age of 23. Well, I'm gonna be 24 next year. So by the time I get that property, probably I might be 24. But that is the thing, only invest once you have invested enough in your business and you've grown your business to a decent amount. Following this three-step system, I will definitely become a millionaire by 25, but that came with a lot of sacrifices. Sacrifices just spending time with my parents, my relationships with friends and everyone around me. I was never able to spend enough time and I was always in this hustle mind, which, which for me was fine, but that's something I wanna let you know that if you are gonna do or use this system, you might have to sacrifice a few things. And so you can take it easy you can take 10 years to achieve it or 20 years or choose the slow lane and become a millionaire by the time you're 50. Whatever works for you. This works for me. This is what I wanted to achieve. And that's the reason why I followed this three the three-step system. And by the way, this three-step system is something I came up with because I realized these are the steps I took and now I'm gonna become a millionaire probably sometime next year, as I just mentioned. And if you're interested in making money and you wanna build passive income streams, then go check out this video where I've shared 21 passive income ideas I'll see you in that video. Take care, have an amazing day and peace.